The early patrolmen developed observation points along their routes, generally on prominent peaks or tall trees with a good view of the surrounding terrain. These were gradually followed by permanent lookout stations, which steadily increased in number throughout the country, and their design and height varied according to the terrain and the imagination of the builders. Wisconsin's flat terrain called for a wooden skyscraper. This rustic shack in Arkansas housed both the lookout and his family. A high peak in the Willamette National Forest provided a view over miles of Oregon's mountains. And a tall steel tower guarded Georgia's Suwannee Forest. The first fire lookouts were equipped with little more than a map and a compass, and fire spotting techniques were rudimentary. They roughly calculated the direction of a visible smoke and estimated the distance by eye. In 1910, W.B. Osborne invented the Firefinder, a sighting device which pivoted on a circular scale and accurately plotted the azimuth of a blaze. The lookout telephoned the readings to a ranger station where they were plotted on a map. A sighting from another lookout was similarly plotted and the intersecting lines pinpointed the location. Many improvements have been made to Osborne's original concept, but the principle remains the same. 